Welcome to John Gets Games, where today my friend Anastasia is going to join us here in the studio, and we're going to play a full two-player game of Caesar. And now we're going to start off with a very brief overview of it, then we're going to play the full game, and then discuss how the game went right there at the end. Now, I do want to ask that if you enjoy this video, that you please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Also, if you like this kind of video, then please consider supporting the Patreon campaign for the channel. This video was not sponsored in any way, and I do want to say that the Patreon supporters help make these things happen, and when you become a supporter, you also gain access to tons of exclusive perks. Some of those include my dozens of opinions episodes that you can watch where I talk about the hundreds of games that I've played recently, the things I like and don't like about those games, as well as coming back to updating my opinions as I keep playing them. You can also watch some videos early and advertisement-free, and this was one of those videos that went out several days early to the patrons, and you can get access to an exclusive podcast feed where you can hear audio versions of all of my vlogs and those opinions episodes I just mentioned. Now, coming back to this game, I do want to ask that if while you're watching this, some part of it jumps out to you as interesting, or maybe you see us cheat, or you see a better turn that we could have done, then please comment about that down below, because I'd love to see that kind of feedback. All right, let's jump into the game. Hey, Anastasia, you're back. I'm back. We're ready to fight in the Mediterranean. Let's do it. Yes. Caesar! <laughs> Caesar! <laughs> <laughs> so, Anastasia and I have played Blitzkrieg many times. In fact, I think the first time we played it was together on TTS. Yes. And this is kind of like the sequel to Blitzkrieg. Um, I think I like it better than Blitzkrieg, but I'm, I'm putting the, the cart before the horse there. Let's talk about this game. So it's a really simple game. Uh, both Anastasia and I have these bags of identical sets of random tokens in them. We start the game pulling two of them, and we're going to put them behind these shields. Uh, go for it. So um, the way it works is I am Pompey, and Anastasia is Caesar, and we're fighting to put all of our tokens out on the board. As soon as all of these are cleared off, then that person wins immediately. And uh, yeah, honestly, let's just play. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's such a simple game. I don't even think we need to do an overview. The box does say we're supposed to seize Rome in 20 minutes, so right. this is going to be it. Somebody this turn on their stopwatch. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> we did play like a three-hour game of innovation. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, hey, look, I'm already cheating. This shouldn't be out there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, John. I imagine Caesar cheated. goes first. Oh, you know what? That's a great question that we will just check real quick. I actually think that Pompey goes first. Boop the doop the doo. Starting with Caesar. Oh, right. Caesar goes first. Yes, John. Caesar goes first. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm looking at my tokens. Okay. So one of the things about the tokens is basically you get these two tokens, and we're going to place them on these spots, and you essentially are going to rotate them to take a little bit of control in two different provinces. But the trick is that the tokens have to match the symbols. Yeah, sword, shield, ship. Exactly. And then when you do that, you're going to get some bonus tokens when you are able to close provinces, and then they do fun stuff. So we're going to show all that. But um, the real question is, where do I want to start? Do I want to start with some easy stuff to kind of, like, take over? Or do I want to, like, get up here in Italia where you get a lot of points, but it's a lot harder to close? So, mm. all right, John. I think... I love going second. I'm just like, I know. I'm going to see like, what you do. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Um... We'll get to draw another token after this one, so that will kind of help me a little bit, given yeah. what I know about yeah. my. Current... I don't know what you have back there, but I have played this before, where like both of my tokens are the same icon. Yeah. For, like the first three turns, and we're just yeah. like, Argh! you're like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna come down over here, and I'm gonna place like this. I think. Okay. Now, it's fun. There's a couple of interesting things you can see I'm kind of going for here. This token right here, this is a wealth. This is going to let me immediately draw another token. So basically, I'm going to increase my hand size. So then I'll have a few more options. And this one right here would let me take another turn. So both of these provinces are kind of fun, you know, to kind of get things starting off. Yes. And uh, specifically, you get these if you're the person to fill in the last spot. So you're done, right? You you draw a tile. That's it, yeah. I draw a tile and I'm done. So I don't get to take those right now. It's just if I fill in the spot. But if John, for example, went here, he's going to get that. Yeah. Um, which is different than who would win, right? So right. we'll show that in a second. But the, you know, the numbers are all about the winning. The and winning. The filling is all about the bonuses. Yeah. So I'm going to choose not to fill this in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Why? Let, let's just say I have I could have a sword back here, um, and if I chose to use the sword that I definitely have back mm -hmm. here, oh, ah! John, <laughs> I could go there and increase my hand size, which would be great. But I'm choosing not to do that. Why? <laughs> 
Uh, let's see here. So I have to put one of these two tokens down. I don't trust down. you at all. Why would you choose not to do that? <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I was kind of waiting for Anastasia to go. Her putting this here means there's two more empty spaces. So if I went here or here, suddenly there are two regions that are one away from being completed, which is, it's interesting. What are you going to do, John? What are you going to do? You going to come join me here in Syria? In I Egyptian? think, no, I think it's all about Asia. It's all about Asia, all right? Yeah, I mean, I could go, oh, wait a second. I could go, oh, no, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to head over here, mm. uh, shield to shield. I'm mm-hmm. going to flip this over. So um, currently the numbers, I have five and Anastasia has two. And again, we'll see that soon, but that has to do with putting these tokens down. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's my whole turn. I'm also projecting one influence here into Krita. I draw a random tile out of my bag. Ha ha. And uh, you're up. Oh, well, this gives the game about tactics here. So um, yeah. I can't I, say like, too I'm in trouble much. if you have a boat and a sword. Right, yeah, because you you'll put a boat there, take this, yeah. which will give you an extra turn where you put a sword and take that. And then maybe this is a short video. Is it going to be a short video? I mean, it's not going to be a short video yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be a short video okay. yet. Phew. This is a game um, about taking calculated risks. It is about taking calculated risks. It's also, yeah, it's not going to be a short video yet. But <laughs> what is it going to be? You know what it is going to be, John? It's going to be this. Oh. Uh. All right, so I wanted to go here, but of course John went there. Oh, the shield, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna do this. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm hedging my bets a little bit here. So you know, but John might. And do now that, it's five but... to one over here, and these are very strong. We'll talk about them probably relatively soon. Yeah. Uh, but they're very good at winning you the game outright. Exactly. Um. Okay. So you draw a tile. Yep. It's my turn, and okay. Okay, John. I think I want to take an extra turn. So I'm going right. to place right over here. This is a 6-0. Uh, so as soon as, like we said, a region is fully uh, surrounded, the person who filled in the last spot gets this bonus. It does not matter if they're winning or losing the kind of majority that's happening over here. So because I took this, I get to take another turn after this one. Yeah, yeah. But we haven't finished this turn yet because <laughs> this zone is full. So now in order to figure out who controls it, we count the numbers. It's 5 plus 0 for me, 2 for you. So I have more, which means I take one of these. And I put it down there, and I am one token closer to winning. Uh, the game ends immediately once one of us does that. And now I have to set this back up again. But you get the <laughs> idea. So, yeah, that is good for me. And there's actually another reason why that might be good for me when it comes to actually chaining these. And uh, we'll probably see that soon. For now, though, my first turn is done. So I can draw a random tile out of the bag. Then, because I have this, I get to do another turn. What are you going to do, John? I drew a good tile, Anastasia. <laughs> a I really drew, good tile? I drew a good tile. I've definitely had this tile the entire time. Oh, my I did gosh. not just draw oh it out of the gosh. bag. Oh, my gosh. So that finishes this one, which means I get this, which lets me draw an extra tile out of the bag. And then this zone, you actually win this zone. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, full stop. Yeah. Full stop. <laughs> so I get the bonus, but you have four to my three. So, yeah, you're one closer to winning. Um, and I do want to just say that if I had won this, let's just say the yeah, numbers were opposite. This is huge, actually. Then I would have put this here. And whenever you win a zone next to a zone you've already uh, won, you take another one of these and you put it on top of the border between these. So this is why it's very important to try and win things next to each other and why it's particularly good for Anastasia to actually win this uh, to stop me from being able to pull that off. Yep. Now, I did get that wealth bonus, though. So I drew a tile, but that wasn't the tile I draw at the end of my turn. This is the tile I draw at the end of my turn. So I now essentially have increased my hand size to three tiles compared to year two, and I'm done. What I think I'm enjoying most about this play so far is that I specifically came down here to get one or both of these tiles, uh-huh. and John has now taken both of them, <laughs> and I've done nothing. But I have managed to get this on the board, yes. so that feels That's good. That's not nothing. I do have nine power heading towards Egypt. You do Egypt. have nine power <laughs> heading okay towards with. Egypt, which is a moment. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's a moment. It's like, how many of these wealth tokens can John get? Like, he has a hand size of, like, five, and I have, like, two. Yeah, it's but that doesn't be... help you win. I mean, it gives you variety, yeah, which means you're more choices. likely to have the right tile. Exactly. But these, as we'll talk about soon, help you actually get closer to win. Yeah, they do. And I'm a little worried I'm, like, potentially ceding this one to you, but I'm only losing by four here. We'll see. All right. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do this here. And what I'm going to do is basically admit defeat ah. on this section. Okay. Um, which is not great because John... If and when he gets this, he will then, as he just pointed out, get Put another three. Put token down. 
And so it would be much better for me to fight for this. But I think we're just going to try and uh, work our way. Shift your focus over. Shift our focus over a little you, bit. And maybe even get the tile if we yeah. can. So I mean, it's worth just... noting, you don't have to, like, like, she doesn't have to go over here. Like, you could just start over here. Yeah, we don't I could go anywhere. Yeah. No, no, no. But I'm just. But there's a lot of incentives to the building off of where you are. The game kind of naturally pulls you, but he, he's does. totally right. I don't have to. It so. does. All right, John, what are you going to do? Um, I, uh, I like hand size so yeah i'm gonna put this boat right here so i'm glad i did that because it 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 was basically worthless for me to put waste the five and yeah oh absolutely i had nine already yeah uh so yeah i close this in so i get that which means i increase my hand size by one it's fine it's everything's fine. great Every, everything is good guys <laughs> everything's good everyone on team caesar it, we're good i everyone. do win egypt because i have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot to one yeah yeah so the that goes there know, and the just like we know. said because these are uh, adjacent i put another one of these down yeah, yeah. Right there. Uh, and then I draw a tile at the end of my turn. All right. Well, I've got a couple of interesting choices here. Yeah. So. If you have a shield, you have a couple of interesting choices. I have a couple of interesting <laughs> choices. Well, I don't have a shield, wow. but I do have a wild. Oh. I, so. That's, spoilers about my hand. I legitimately forgot wilds existed. Yeah. So this is wild. And the little laurels. I forgot too until it came out, and then I got excited. <laughs> So this is going to actually let me place here. Now, I could have gone here uh -huh. and also won this. And so there's. Well, let's take a moment. We'll explain what these are. So this Centurion, this bonus would let me take one of these and add it to my hand. Super strong tiles. Super strong tiles, you can see, instead of pulling from my bag, right? So that would have been cool. But as John explained, these Senate tokens are really strong. And given that I'm already falling a little bit behind him, I kind of really want this. So right yeah. now... I'm going to get this. Like, if I took that, if you took this and then I took that, yeah. I think the game might be sliding towards he being over already. He loves to say that, but, you know, <laughs> don't count me out here. No, no, right? I'm not. No, I think this is the right move for no, you. No, but I think the other thing is that if I do get this, it's going to be pretty hard. I mean, I've got six here. It's going to be hard for John to take this so over. You could so get the double. I could start to kind of work my yeah. way over. So, what's cool about these is that they go right here. And basically, you get to put down an extra token for every Senate that you have already. So right now, you know, I'm going to put this down just for taking it. Yeah. But I'd also get to put down a second one. Um, I think technically you put it underneath the set. The, oh, thank because you. Because remember, this could be uh, flipped. Yes, I put it underneath the Senate. So basically the Senate uh, eats it, it's influence into the Senate. Yeah. And so, it's the number of Senate. So if you get a second Senate, exactly. you'll put two under the second one, three under the third one, and I don't even know if the game would last long enough to get four onto the fourth one. But it can really it can get out of control quickly if one person is getting multiple Senates. Exactly. Now, I will say that you only get the value of the Senate token if you're also placing in the province. Oh, it's so, not just the person who fills. You have to exactly, win it. Exactly. You have to win it. That's so, a good thing to remember. So if I were to have just taken it, um, it, you know, and I didn't win, then it would have given me no value. So you could have discarded it though, and then you, I don't yes, get it. Yes, exactly. You discard it, and then John doesn't get it, and so yeah. that because by definition, if you lose it when you complete it, I could have completed it and been winning and take it. So exactly, it's a two-player only game or a one or two-player game. So uh, yeah, sometimes discarding something is is a lot better than than nothing. Exactly. Yeah, no, that was a really good move for you, I think. We're tied now. I mean, just yeah. looking at the points on the board. Yeah, this is definitely one of those. This is a this is a this is probably my favorite actually like straight like dual game Me because too. of you the map into the and the back and forth so and the fast. thing and it's just fun. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, did you draw a tile? No, John, I don't like drawing tiles. <laughs> you have to remind me every time because I don't want to draw them, okay? It's a problem. All right, I got it. <sighs> Interesting. Hey, Anastasia. Mm -hmm. You read the rules last night, and I haven't read what played this in a bit. What happens if we tie for a region? In case of a tie, <laughs> this... for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. Yeah. The space is left empty, and no control marker is placed. Cool. So, that... I think I'm gonna go here. Oh, come on. <laughs> so six. So five plus one or six. Yep. So I get the Centurion bonus. But nothing and happens. And no one fills us in. And importantly, if Anastasia went there, she'd fill this in. So that yeah. was a really good block. Again, this is, like I just said, sometimes nobody getting it is way better than the other person yeah. getting it. So yeah, this lets me take one of these three. Um, this one is a 4-4 four, four that can go on ship or shield spots. So it's flexible. This is a sword only, but it's a 0-7. And lastly, this is a 3-3, three, three, but it's wild. So I guess the question is, do I want... A cudgel with the sword, or do I want some flexibility? 
Hmm. It kind of depends on the board state. I think I want the 4-4 four, four that could be a ship or a shield. Mm. I'm worried if I take the sword and you, like, cover up a sword in a particularly important spot, it might be a minute until I care about swords again. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like that, that is the one tile I draw for this turn. So I don't yep. draw another one from my bag, and I'm done. Well, we've done a pretty good job of kind of cutting each other off. What John's done here is actually make it so he also can't double up here. It's You know, you know what? I legitimately didn't notice that. I'm still fine. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. If I had one more power here, I would have put two tokens down. Exactly. But, yeah. But it, but I, but I think six is the highest. That's part of what makes this seven, seven. so yeah. powerful. So, and I'm assuming we don't have. I, I don't actually know the count of all the tokens in this bag. Yeah, maybe there's one six per symbol. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I've often played this and been like, that would be convenient to know. But honestly, I think that it's would also, yeah, it's, yeah. This is you can play this in any way that you want. But it, um, it kind of adds to the like, ooh, what am I gonna do? Uh, John, I, I mean, I had a plan, and it was to take this. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think, I think, I think. It sure is a good thing I had to increase my hand size to have a higher probability yeah. of having the tile. I think I'm going to, okay. All right. I think I'm going to let you worry about that a little bit. I think I'm going to go over here yeah. and kind of double down on this. because I mean, if you're going to double down on something, it should be sentence because yeah. of the scaling. And yeah. that's uh, uh, worrisome for yeah. me. Yeah, because I can only, these are both ship spots. Yep. So I can only defend the ships. You kind of lowered the flexibility. You know I just took a 4-4 ship slash shield. Exactly, But I'm I sure do. you'd love for me to drop that down here. Love it. Still be losing, and then you finish it, and mm -hmm. I just lost my powerful I centurion. I would love that. In fact, I think that's a good plan for you. Why don't you go ahead and do that? <laughs> uh, hmm, let me, Whatever hmm, you want. Hmm, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of like resolved a lot of things yeah. here. And now, I mean, you, before you place this, it, it was... Almost like a new board in a yeah. lot of ways, like a zero here and a two there. But now this is tilting things in an interesting way. I could, of course, just ignore this and start working over here. Yeah, and just kind of like pull attention. Yeah. We haven't over talked there. about the swords or the uh, poisons yet. I guess I'll talk about them now. Yeah. Uh, when you take a sword, it lets you flip over an opponent's influence token or control marker. Yeah. So that means, like, let's say I filled this in and I took that, I could flip that over. So it's now a zero, zero. Exactly. Or. I could flip over this, which means, yeah, Anastasia still has this for the purposes of winning the game, but she doesn't have it for the purposes of doing the, the stacking on the borders thing. So the swords can be, or I guess they're not really swords, they're kind of spears. Uh, they can be really powerful. And then the poison is an anti-vase. Uh, when you take the poison, your opponent discards a random tile from their hand, essentially lowering their hand size by one. In fact, I think technically... If you lower someone's hand size to zero, that's a win condition. That is a win condition. Yeah. And I will point out that the poison and the centurion, which is what John took earlier, um, are both like little mini expansions. They basically say, like, after you played a couple times, feel yeah. free to add one or both of these in. And so Advanced we are modules. playing with both of them. I've actually never played with poison before because this was my least favorite part of Blitzkrieg. I didn't like that you could take away someone's tile. But um, as you can see, if somebody starts getting a couple wealths, it's, it's Yeah, it's exactly. Nice a, but at the same time, it's kind of a balance, yeah. uh, you know, particularly for that. So so we decided to play with all of them. Um, but, you know, you don't if you don't like negative things, you actually don't have to play with this. Yeah. Uh, same thing, again, you don't want to add in. I could angle function. towards this and force you down to a single tile. Exactly. I know. And this is why I was bringing ooh, it up. You ooh, could. You know what? Let's have some fun. Oh, my God, John. I'm going to place this six sword there. Oh, come on. And the reason I'm doing this, I mean, beyond just because I think it's funny, <laughs> is because you want to put two ships here. Yeah. I mean, I guess this ship covers both of those, but I'm trying to force you to solve this later and need to do something about this. this. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to commit to that. All so right. I'm drawing a tile out of the bag. I did just burn a six sword, right? Yeah. We've seen my six sword and my six shield. If my... Supposition is true that there's a one six zero for each type, then I've used two of them already. So Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do then is not do any of that. I'm gonna come over here. Yep. With this. That does make sense. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully balance this out a little bit. Obviously the vase adds a hand size. If he does accomplish to get this, you know, maybe I can even it out. I'm also then just kind of moving my influence, continuing to work on these areas. Mm -hmm. And threatening John kind of over here, yeah. maybe pull his attention a little bit. Remember how we said this game? Can take twenty minutes. A hundred percent. And uh, it's funny. Anastasia and I have an amazing way to to play games mm -hmm. at twice their count because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play a five one here. Yeah. So I increase my hand size again. Yep. And no one gets that. <laughs> and no one gets it. Uh. So I do that. Uh, again, five to five. Nobody gets it. No bonuses. 
Uh, it leaves both of us kind of ignoring this scary area here. Yeah. And I draw another tile out of the bag. I don't think I've ever had this many tiles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're still technically tied. We are when it comes still technically to tied. The, the, the actual thing that wins you the game. So what you going to do? What am I going to do? There's so many boat spots. We've been playing a lot of not boats. No. I know. I really want to close some things, but I keep kind of getting in positions where I'm not. Yeah, because well... it's two and two. So if you do one, yeah. I could close it. If you do one, I could close it. Not well positioned. If you do one, I could close that. it. Yeah, it's it's a precarious spot. Yeah. The 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 two, but yeah, you just move somewhere else. Yeah. All right. I and think... then force me to be in the two 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 spot. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is that anywhere I could close, like John can just close it immediately, right? So. I'm trying to to get things closer, but then I'm basically setting him up to just close it. So, what am I gonna do, John? I mean, I don't know your tiles, but I know what I would do in your position. Yeah. So I need to find a way to kind of like not trick him, but get him, like pull him. Pull you're you're him kind away. of on the back foot, right? Yeah, you're I'm trying a little to find bit a way on the back foot. Knock me off balance. Yeah, I need to kind of get him. Like get his attention elsewhere just a little bit, you know, so that I have some choices here. Because, you know, these poisons are really poorly positioned. Like, I want to, I can start to take these, but, you know, if I place here, then he just places there and he takes it, right? And so, Also, to a certain extent, I I've taken three wealth jars so far. If you poison me once, are you really hurting me that much? No, but I don't want you to take it, right? Because oh, you poison me that's is devastating. the problem, If right? I de poison you twice, then you lose. Yeah, exactly. So I have to be kind of careful point. Good point. how to approach this. So I think I need to pull, but I, like, I don't want you to get an extra turn. I don't like, I, yeah. I, you, you know. You should probably place in a spot that would make a two. Yeah. Not a make a one. Yeah, because I think any of these would probably, yeah, I just jump on it, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to, this is not really a, like a strategy I often go for, but I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw down a little bit here in Italia. And that is exactly what I would have done. <laughs> no, no. Sir, I, I, I don't see your tiles, but in your position, I'm like, I think you just need to try and make a play for yeah, Italia. Yeah, because it's all points right now. Yeah, because there's a, an open spot. So yeah. when you uh, win Italia, you put an extra token down. It always has a Senate on it. So if you were to win this, that would be what? One, two, three, four. You put four tokens down. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you kind of punt towards yep. me. Like, I, there's no spot I can just close right now. Yeah. And I have this feeling, like, like I said, I don't super care if you poison me because I have so many tiles. So I might want to go after one of these to tempt you into go doing it, getting rid of the poison. Maybe I control the region, and then maybe I can swing this one back. So it kind of depends on the tiles I have. <laughs> and I've been burning through a lot of high power tiles. Yeah, I've talked myself into it. Oh, which tile do I use though? Let's do this 3-3 three, three boat. Yep. Oh, draw a tile. Okay. So this is a really interesting choice because I can go here. I assumed so, and yeah. And take this, but he might get the province, which I think is maybe an like a good sacrifice, a little protective. Yeah. Like I said, it takes Sacrifice away your fear there. of me putting you down to one tile, which is incredibly inflexible. Yeah. And I know for a fact that he didn't take his seven from the Centurion. Right. So as long as I can get this space up to seven, it's going to be very hard for John um, to take it. Now, he could take the Senate tile, mm -hmm. but, you know, I've already it's my got first it. Senate tile. I've got it, already got it at six. Yeah. So there's, there's some potential there. Yeah. I think... Good this news. is the position I was hoping to put you in. Not like, haha, I've got you cornered, but more like, okay, you know, we're both tipping each other off balance a little bit. Yeah. All right. So I think we will do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, so. There's no point in flipping it around. I might as well just, right. you know. I've got nine power here. Yeah. Exactly. So I get the poison. My first token. Oh, my gosh. Did everybody notice that? <laughs> oh, no. I guess I got to send it. Okay, That's true. Phew. All right. So let's see. The It says, opponent returns one of their influence tokens back to their bag at random. So um, how about this? I'm going to arrange these in an order. Do Anastasia. we all trust him? Is two, everyone watching? I want everyone to watch. Pick a make... number between one and five. One and five. No, just flip them over and right. move them around. I don't trust you. What if you put like the good ones at one and the bad ones at five? That's true. I forgot I could just do this. Okay. <laughs> mm, let's see, John. My God, you had five tokens? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking three bases. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like I said, if you're not, if you don't enjoy being on your back foot, you know, you got to just got to embrace it. All right, John, it's this one. Okay. Whatever that is, I hope it's bad for you. Okay. I'm going to take a look at it just because I'm curious. <gasps> we all get to see. Okay. No, we all get to see. Oh, you do? Yeah. Both players are permitted to see. Hot dog. It's a 4-2 uh, sword. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, and then I control this region. Yes, you do. Woo. And I get to draw another token, just the one. But I don't but... have any others. Nope. Okay, that's back to me. I can flip these over so I remember what I have. Okay, so she did what I was hoping she would do, mm -hmm. but she was able to make this a nine. Yep. I think I have to complete this. I mean, she's going to get two tokens. But I'm going to get... You don't get the Senate. You can take it away from oh, me, but you no. don't get it. Oh, Okay, maybe this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> this is the game, though, guys. Oh, shoot. This is, You're right. It's a, it's, <laughs> maybe he made a mistake with his five tokens. Maybe I made a mistake. Too many okay. choices. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... You do get to place it here, but you don't get to place the additional. Oh, that's markers. good. Okay, so yeah, so the next one is still yes, more powerful. Yes, and if I explained that incorrectly earlier, I apologize. No, that's good. That's um, good to know. So yeah, you do get to place it. So the next one is more powerful, but you don't get to place that additional control marker. I mean, and it's only more powerful if you get another one. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, geez. Yeah, I'm really tempted to like play over here and try to make you make a decision, but it's not a decision. You just go here. It's so good for you. <laughs> wow, I hate it. I love it though. I love uh, all the choices right now. I felt, you know, oh, no, I'm having a great time, but I hate this moment. Not gonna lie, felt a little hard, but I, you know, I was going with it, yeah. and uh, now this is great. Yeah, okay. so go there. So it's wild. Uh, you clearly destroy. So I take this. It goes here. Yep. I do not win the zone, so I don't get the bonus. But I get to do this. And by doing that, I stopped you from putting two more tokens down, so and I could not. This. Yeah. yeah, you put two down instead of four. Yeah. Uh, which would have been real, real bad. Um, I think this is where, like, historically yeah. playing, isn't Pompeii, like, didn't Caesar have more of an army and Pompeii was the one with, like, not much I gotta be honest, I have no idea. Do I not know my, um, <laughs> I don't know my Roman history very well. I do not well. either. We, we didn't then, prepare. Well, we're, we're doing an alternate history here, maybe. I'm <laughs> where, where, uh, where Pompeii, like. Pompeii is ruling it all and Caesar is scrappy. Yes. Um, Okay, well, let's see. Although right now, I actually, I am doing better than you. I've yeah, got five you are. Out. I mean, again, if I hadn't done that, you would have this and, yep. uh, and wow. <laughs> Even though you only have two tokens back there. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so I think what I need to do is lock up this situation. Although it, oh man, if I do that, <laughs> it's going to really make that 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 harder. Hmm. Oy, oy, oy. Um, I want to kind of place more in Italia, yeah. but I'm kind of scared of that poison. Yeah. Um, yep. Or even losing this, you know, like there's just me going back to five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is the me, last poison. Or so me you, going to one. You can't go to zero, but you going to one means... would be hard. Yeah. But that being said, you could go to one and still just barely get all your tokens out and win. I mean, I could just go nuts. I mean, because mm -hmm. like this is what's cool about this is if I win this province right now, this is like this is like a must win for John if he can make this happen. Because like think about it, right? Mm. I'm gonna put three down. So in Italia, there's always an extra. So first of all, when you play the game, you always put a senate here. Yeah. There's always a senate in Italia, and there's always an extra space. So if I were to win this, I would put two tokens here, one token here because of this. So that's three. Mm -hmm. Plus the Senate, because it would be my second two more. Senate. You put five down. Two more. So I put five down, which basically... Just about know, be the game. So even if I only have, you know, one token left, as long as I yeah. can make that happen... Yeah. That's why um, I was thinking earlier, like, Italia was your way to, to get things yeah, back. Yeah, but I have to win it. And, for example, if John... It takes a lot. John takes it. I, I still only put down three, so, still you know... good, yeah. So, yeah, so... I don't know if I like want to fight that fight or if I want to come over here, but you know what? Why not? Let's just go nuts. <laughs> now the question is, if I flip this, oh my goodness. So that would put me at nine ten. So that to puts me three. at ten to your three if I do this. So you have a six advantage and there's two openings. And then it would also open this up to me. So even if he closes that, he's got to close it with something good. Mm -hmm. You know. But if I do this, then I basically lock up Italia. Italia. So it's tempting either way. Yeah, this isn't adjacent to anything I've won already. Yeah. But but yeah, maybe. But uh, I but then again, I think I think this is the play because ten is a lot, mm -hmm. and it forces John to play, which would give me potentially the last play. Yep. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, here, yeah, so you're locking that in. If you had rotated this the other way, I probably would. I would I would definitely do this. Yep. Um, to win this and then poison you. Because you did it this way, it makes me slightly more tempted to come over here to Italia, but I'm already back. Wow, seven. Yikes. I will I think, say, I think, I'm... You know, I need to poison you. I think I have to poison you to, and hope that your one tile mm -hmm. doesn't match enough times. Mm -hmm. I have some feelings on my tiles. For anyone watching at home, <laughs> I, uh, I got feelings. And because you did this, I'm four behind. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. oh, what do I do? Okay. All right. Well, here it is. It, we, I've never seen this many ties. Let's do this it. This is nuts. So I poison you. Flip over your tiles. All right, John. <laughs> it is your choice of my two. Dude, can we just point out how mean this is? He's got four and he's taking away one of You say mean. You're my... about to win the game. <laughs> be a sword. Be a sword. Be a sword. Oh, well, okay. It's a functionally, functionally a sword. It's a wild. Okay. It is a wild. So this is your last tile. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. And nobody wins this because there's another freaking tie. And then I draw a tile out of my bag. Now, the one good thing about John that he did that is that basically I need to wait for him to play here. And yeah. the problem is I, you know, my tile, let me flip it over so people can see. My tile, um, I don't know if I want to waste my tile, right? So, like, what he's done is taken away all ability for me to plan. So mm -hmm. that makes it really hard. Yeah, because I'm scared of Italia. Like, yeah, it almost feels inevitable that you're going to win it and then he, almost win the game in that stroke. So I need to really yeah. lower your so options. So he's now made it so that I'm, I'm basically forced to play in one of these. Which is and why then, I said I wanted to find swords. And like. then <laughs> give him the Senate, right? Yeah. Like, Because if I don't play... Then I can't guarantee. Oh boy, don't look. I didn't see. I closed my eyes. I will, I can't guarantee that I'm gonna draw a Senate or a Wild. Right. Um. And then and then it's, and then he closes it and then I don't get it and then you know so. Uh, but I have so many. It would be hard for him. I don't know, John. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's do this. It's quite fun. So we're gonna go here. Oh my gosh, you had two Wilds. I had two Wilds. I know. Wasn't it so good? <laughs> it was so good. That's nuts. it was so good. Um, I was like my luck is really making up for this. So I'm going to go here. Yep. Now, John pretty easily uh, can win this, and then he can just have all his tiles uh, back. But The decisions. But, yeah. you yeah, know. Yeah. If I do this, and you have a sword or yeah. a wild, because you literally have nothing behind here right now. Yeah, let's hope this is. And I can't know. Uh-huh. Uh, if I do this, then you go there. Like this is it's inevitable that you win. But I only have one tile, right? Yeah, and it, so it's inevitable that you win, but if you win and you place, that is an extra two tiles that you put down. Yeah. I like the draws <sighs> out of his back foot. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. This I could good. take this and then not cash it in again, but then it makes these three tiles for me. So it's still not yeah. the end of the world. But if I do this, then you do this and you go back to two tiles. Right. <laughs> I mean I think I think I know what I have to do. I think I have to close Italia. I think you've 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 backed me into this corner. I frequently see games of this where nobody completes. Me Italia. too. I know this it's is so, so cool. hard. It's, I you think and I are always so equally balanced. It's, it's the ties here that yeah. made it like like this is nuts. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Okay. Uh, it's a two two wild. Okay. Uh, so I get this. Yep. I am not winning, so I don't get the bonus. But Boom. I have denied Boom. that from you. Boom. It's. Oh my gosh! If you go here, you put two more. I. I okay. Well, you, I have so many you, tiles. you've really hampered me. It's interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll find we, out if you have a sword. We are playing a unique <laughs> game of this. I've never seen someone go down to one tile and yeah. for John to have so many tiles. I mean, I've seen it be imbalanced, but not quite, you know, in terms of number of tiles. But we haven't even used, no one's used a might token at yeah. all. They just put it on the other side of the board. When you set up this game, these tiles all come out randomly. Mm -hmm. And we actually pulled out six of them to start the game. And so, and because we're playing with the two expansions with the extra the, variety, the extra variety, the centurions and the poison, that it means that there's less of some of the other elements that if you didn't play with them, you know, you might see more back and forth. You might yeah. see more extra turns. You might see whatever. So um, we also had a, quite a few senates and. Um, so it's just interesting. Every game. I, mean, I don't think different. I've ever seen one person take a Senate without winning the zone, let alone two. I know. I'm like. Mm. Leave it to us to have like a crazy close. We long only version film of this 20 interesting game. versions of this game. Okay, so let's see here. Time to see if you drew a sword or not. Well, I didn't. Spoiler: <laughs> I did not draw a sword. Okay. I don't have a gazillion tiles like you. Um, <laughs> so I need to make some other choices. 
That's true. I'm like, oh, you shouldn't tell me what you have, but you're literally going to play that tile. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you will put whatever tile that is you drew down I know. somewhere. I, I, so, so, yeah, spoiler, I've got this ship. 4-2 ship, yeah. And, you know, ships at this point are not, and I don't think John has played. He's holding his 4-4 four, four ship. I know that because he hasn't played you can it see yet. it's not out here, yeah. So um, I think the best thing for me to do is just throw this out here in the most traffic possible. So yeah. if I go here... He can easily close this. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it's basically just kind of a useless play. But what it does is, you It's know, the two opening thing, right? Like, if yep. you leave two openings, then the other person, yep. unless they can get a bonus turn. Exactly. Um, which we've seen once. But, like, sometimes when these happen early, they can really cause things to yeah. snowball. So I'm just kind of trying to keep my options alive. If I end up being able to control this, mm -hmm. you know, it's just good for me. So Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm, like, happy and sad at the same time. I'm happy because you didn't have a sword. Not that I need to increase my hand size more, but I really yeah. don't want you to. Yeah. And and I need to start getting these tokens down. Yeah. Um, I'm sad because I am doing it like this. It's a wild. It's a four zero wild. Mm. Um, Anastasia can read into my hand however she wishes based <laughs> off of this. Um, so because we were two two. Yeah. Uh, so if I did this, uh, I would still get increase my hand size, but I would not put these down, and these are how we win. So I yeah. think I really need. To make that happen. So, yeah, I'm going to complete this. I increase my hand size <laughs> again. This one. And then I win this. Yeah. Uh, I don't win anything adjacent, but I did stop. I mean, potentially, if she had done that, she would have put two more down. And now maybe I can project this over here. It's been a while since I put one of these tokens down. Yeah. Like, a long time. <laughs> I've done a lot of ties. Anyway, yep. that's my turn. So I'm in an interesting street here, which I'll just tell everyone. I've got a 3-3 three, three ship, and um, again, there's no surprise now because John's taken away all of my tokens. And not only that, he's taken away my only way to get tokens back. Yes. So it's just going to be You're playing me, one tile for the rest of the game. One tile for the rest of the game, <laughs> which I've never been in this position before. So fascinating. I was thinking about throwing this up here, but again, I you know I don't want John. I don't really want to give John the ability to flip over my tiles. I mean, he can, mm -hmm. but yeah, usually in previous games, like this flipping yeah. can be such an impactful thing. We haven't seen it at all this game. Every play of this is so different. So one thing that's interesting is that if I do place this here, when one of the things is that kind of the we haven't like it hasn't really mattered the turn order, but basically like or the the order of events hasn't really mattered up to this point, but basically. You you take this token, but you place the influence before you resolve it. Ah, uh, which matters so, for this. Which matters for this. Which because we haven't done yet, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is place here, is this makes this a seven. So even if John takes this and he wants to flip over one of these things, that's fine. I'm still going to, I co hopefully, will still win it. Right. And then still get the ability, the you know, get some extra tiles out. Yep. You know, but he still could do that and then... You know, take this and then get mm -hmm. a double turn and all those things. So, yeah, I mean, you had boat boats, so there were three spots you could go. The thing is, I just keep drawing boats. It was so great when I wasn't <laughs> drawing boats, but now I just keep drawing boats. Yeah, okay. I think you. We're going to cover this whole board. Sometimes this game ends <laughs> long before you cover the board. I know. I know. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to have a really good turn. Great. I'm so glad for and, you. And we're going to stay friends, right? <laughs> uh, we'll see. <laughs> okay, let me do a little bit of math. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What he did, what he is able to do is is get an extra turn here. So, and I set him up for that. I know he has the four you four, did. and I really didn't have an option. The other yeah. option was to go up here. And you the know? thing is, I, I don't think it actually matters which way I turn this. It's a powerful tile. Yeah. But I don't think it really matters. Uh, I'm gonna go this way because I'm gonna get an extra turn. Got it. Yep. Uh, so I do that. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six to your three. So I put this here. I don't have any adjacent one regions. You do have this one. So you can oh, do here. Oh yep. my gosh. Okay. This is even better. Now he's getting an extra turn. Now he's going to send it. And basically, what you thought I was winning, John's about to be yes. winning. By well, you, you were really close to, if you had drawn a sword. If on I had that only turn. drawn a sword, yeah. Like that, I'm not, you wouldn't necessarily have won, but I think you kind of needed to. Yeah. Um, it, you just got stuck on luck. So now I finish my turn by drawing. Oh, never mind. I'm out of tiles. <laughs> John, every time. Just like rub it in or something. Like So I get to go again because of this. And then, yeah, I'm going to place that there. Yeah. I win this region. Uh, so I put, yeah, I think this is where the game just kind of falls over. Because then I do this and that. And then this goes here. And I put three under it. And I Boom. win. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Like that, the game could suddenly end. Like it was just, yep. it was on a, a teeter totter yep. for a while there. And yeah, yep. if you had won this, you would yep. have put two down you would have gotten a wealth token so you would be back to two tiles so yeah like 
it's rough. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's rough that, um, that, that luck can come into play. And I think this is probably why the poisons are a like advanced module expansion that you yeah, can add in. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, because the, the base way you don't play these, you, the wealth is there, so you could increase hand size, but you will always have at least two tiles to choose from. Exactly. I mean, I let, it was interesting. It was fun to play with. I'm going to be honest with everyone. I probably wouldn't play with these again. Interesting, um, okay. Because... You said you didn't like it in Blitzkrieg. The, the I didn't like it in Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg. Yeah. I, you know, it kind of worked out here because I ended up having two wilds, but if I didn't have two wilds, it would have been really painful. Yeah. And then, you know, what it does is it basically, if this happens... You can totally have a situation like John's, right? Where it's basically like I never even used my centurion tile. Yeah, he yeah. he ended up with having you know way more tiles than I did, you know, and just to have one left by the I, end. I always had the right icon for the moment. It might not have been the best number for the moment, but, but I always, you had, the always right had the right icon. icon. Which for me, like, it takes away so much fun of the strategy of the game yeah. to have your those choices. The, the two choices is kind of like uh you know key to that. I agree. And then to just have one, it it sort of felt like a foregone conclusion. I mean, I was ho- but it was completely luck based, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't John's foregone, point, but you needed you needed a bit of of luck. To, yeah. to, to keep it going, and you were. You were very close. To, very close. To... <laughs> but I, you know. But then it just kind of, it fell away. At the time when I had like all ships, right? Yeah. Like I happened to draw all of these when all I needed was a sword or a thing. Yeah. So it became. You had a bunch of like essentially coin flips that went the wrong way. Exactly. It became very luck dependent. Um... Oh, wow. Two swords and a wild. Exactly. Yeah. Half your, like, yeah. Half your, like it was a coin flip. It's basically 50 50 every time I drew. And, yeah. and that's fine. But like, I think that that for me. It's just not as fun, right, to, yeah. to have that element. And then what happened, though, is – but I can see why that, that creates more things to think about because it does create, like – there was that moment where it was point. like, yeah. yeah, which poison do like, I – What if I know? took both of them and you lose immediately? Right. And but I will you, say you were only down to one tile in, like, the last 20% of the game. 100%. 100%. Yeah. But – he you always had more than me, so yeah. it did always feel like, how am I? But, you know, that is the back and forth of the game. And, of course, the great thing about the game is that it's over. I don't know exactly yes. how long it took us, but it, it it's so it fast. It usually is 20 minutes, not with yeah. us Yeah, maybe half an hour with us yammering <laughs> or a little longer. But it, it's so quick, and it's over, yeah. and then you can play again, right? Yeah. So I think we first time we played, I think we played a couple in a row. Like, we I, did. We played just, two or three times in a row, if yeah. I remember correctly. Because it's like, cool, I did that, great. Um, but you know, I do think that that's one disadvantage of adding in the expansions is there's, there's so much more variety with the tokens yeah. is, it's just that you're going to see a little bit of them less. So, uh, you know, you kind of pick and choose, but I think it's a great game where you can be like, cool, I want to play with Centurions. Cool. Yeah. I want to play with this, but we know we didn't really see the advantage of the Centurions. I never actually played mine. I mean, yeah. I had it and I, I almost played it several times, but and I, the threat of it was kind of cool. If I hadn't wealth like crazy, you know, I would have used this. 100%. I just, I had so much variety already. I didn't, yeah. I didn't need it um yeah i totally see what you're saying and i like i've played with the poison and centurions before yeah i don't think i've ever seen somebody go down to one tile <laughs> the fact that that could happen early is also interesting yeah um and potentially devastating to the game but again it is only a 20 minute game i think i think i would always play with the centurions i like the centurions I, I quite a bit actually that, i like the flexibility i like the yeah. little bit of knowledge that they give i yeah. think that's really fun um, gives you that choice. It's it does not feel overpowered the turn you take it because you're setting yourself up for the future. Exactly. It doesn't increase your hand size. The poisons. Yeah, I didn't really like being bombed in Blitzkrieg as well. I, yeah. I agree with you. Uh, I think it depends on your friend. I, I don't mind it, like like the friend that you're playing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind playing with them, but I could very easily never play with the poison again. Well, the intensity. Yeah, the, the yeah. worst case is you're down to two, which is still very inflexible. Like I've played lots of games of this where I feel like every single turn I I have exactly not what I need, need with exactly, two tiles. Exactly. And it just intensifies one of the one of the parts of the game that is gonna be like a little bit less fun for some people, which is that balance of like being like, oh my opponent might have a bunch of tiles right. and I might not have that many. And I think that like you're okay you with that. You reveal this and you realize I had five. And yeah, I, I, and I have, you know, it's like, it's a lot. I was like, yeah, of course I have five. And it's like, yeah, you know, she like, like she doesn't see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but cool. for how close it was, given that, yeah. I mean, we literally. It was close right up until like the last 15, 20%. Yeah, which is, of course, going to be the luck of any bag builder, right? Yeah. Like, that's just, it's lovely. I'm so glad we played it. So. Yeah. Thanks for playing, Anastasia. Cool. Pompey wins. <laughs> <laughs> As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you too would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.